gastroesophageal reflux disease occurs when stomach acidic and gastric content back up from the stomach into the esophagus. GERD can occur at any age and it is one of the most common disorder. It affects around 20% of U.S. population. The main symptom of GERD is heartburn. Heartburn is a painful burning sensation in the middle of your chest, caused by irritation to the lining of the esophagus caused by stomach acid. Regurgitation is a retrograde migration of acidic gastric contents into the mouth or hyperpharynx. It is often worse after eating, or during reclined position, when they lie in bed. Goat also characterized by acid taste in mouth. Other symptoms can be painful swallowing, difficulty swallowing, belching, epigastric pain, and nausea. The presentation is considered to be atypical when patients present with extraesophageal symptoms, such as chest pain, chronic cough, asthma, laryngitis, dental erosions, dysphonia, and hoarseness. The mechanism of good is decreased tone of the lower esophageal sphincter, and presence of a hiatal hernia, and esophageal motility. People with asthma are at higher risk of developing gastroesophageal reflux disease. Asthma flare-ups can cause the lower esophageal sphincter to relax, allowing stomach contents to flow back. On the other hand, gastroesophageal reflux disease can also cause asthma by irritating the airways and lungs by refluxed acids. Risk factors for GERD include obesity, pregnancy, smoking, hiatal hernia, and taking medications that may cause or worsen the disease include benzodiazines, calcium channel blockers, tricyclic antidepressants, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, and certain asthma medicines. The diagnosis of GERD is made solely based on presenting symptoms or in combination with other factors such as responsiveness to antisecretory therapy, esophagogastroduodenoscopy, and ambulatory reflux monitoring. Treatment Main goal of treatment is resolution of symptoms and prevent complications such as esophagitis and esophageal adenocarcinoma. Lifestyle modifications are considered to be the cornerstone of any good therapy. Weight loss. Avoiding meals at least three hours before bedtime and maintaining good sleep hygiene. Diet modification with the elimination of chocolate, caffeine, and spicy foods, citrus, and carbonated beverages in good is controversial and is not routinely recommended as per current ACG guidelines but it can have some benefits. Medical therapy is comprised of antacids antisecretory agents like histamine, H2, receptor antagonists, H2-RAS, or PPRokinet.